Hello and welcome to this lesson introducing financial modelling with me Mr McIver here at the London Central and Northwest Maths Hub. What is a financial model? Well it's tempting to think it might be some clever bit of origami like this beautiful model of a Ford Mustang made entirely out of dollar bills. But it's not. A financial model is actually something that looks a bit more like this. It's a great big spreadsheet. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to test out various financial assumptions and various different economic conditions and find out whether, in this case, the business makes a profit or a loss. How do we go about building a financial model? Well, the first step is to understand how to build a clever calculator. And we're going to start by looking at a calculation you've been doing quite a lot of recently, working out the tax payable on a particular income. Annual salary £24,000. You have to figure out the total tax bill and ultimately the monthly wage slip based on these figures for tax rates and national insurance. And somehow, using all this data, you have to get to this. Now, you should know how to do this already with a pen and a calculator and a sheet of paper. What you do is you make a note of the annual salary, £24,000. You draw a little diagram of the tax system we have in this country with thresholds at £11,545,000. You put in the salary of £24,000, work out the size of the slice, which is taxable, £12,500 at 20%, then figure out some annual payments. So tax at 20% is 20% of 12,500, £2,500 a year. You then do the same thing for national insurance. New thresholds, you put in the salary of 24,000, 12% of that amount, work out 12% of that, get an annual figure, and then finally divide everything by 12, and you get a monthly payslip. Well, it's not particularly hard, but it does take rather a long time. There is a quicker way to do it, which is to use a spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how to complete a spreadsheet like this that takes current tax and NI rates and automatically translates it into a monthly payslip. And then the modelling bit involves turning this version of the spreadsheet into one that allows you to change the thresholds and rates of tax and national insurance so you can model the effect it has on people at different income levels. Here's how you do it. First of all, the clever calculator. The first thing I'm going to do is do the monthly payslip calculator. And we'll start by working with an annual salary of £24,000, exactly like we had in the example shown earlier in the video. To work out my taxable pay, what I need to do is equals that number there, £24,000, minus the basic tax threshold, £11,500. And if I hit return or enter, there you are. £12,500 of my income is liable for tax. To work out the income tax payable, I put in equals my taxable pay times, using the star button, my tax rate. My tax rate is 20% and expressed as a decimal, that is 0.2. There you are, £2,500 in tax. Liable for NI, well, once again, I have to take my annual salary and subtract the threshold at which national insurance is paid. And that is £8,164. That is the amount that is liable for national insurance. National insurance is paid at 12%, and that is cell D2 times 0.12. And finally, to get my net salary, I simply take my annual salary, subtract my income tax, and also subtract my NI. Then there we have £19,599.68. Now, I'm talking about money here 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these cells and change the format of these cells to currency. And because I'm in the UK, Excel cunningly defaults to pounds sterling and it automatically puts in two decimal places. Great. Now all I need to do is get my pay slip. Well, my gross pay is simply the figure I have under, as my annual salary divided by 12. My national insurance, it payable per month, is simply my annual NI bill divided by 12. And my income tax is just my annual tax bill divided by 12. And finally, my net monthly pay is my gross pay minus NI minus £208.33 income tax. And there is my monthly take-home pay. And the great thing about this Excel sheet being set up as it is, is that now if I want to change my salary to, say, £30,000, all I need to do is enter the new figure and it automatically recalculates everything for me. What happens if my salary suddenly plummets? £20,000. Oh, and it goes away down to there. Now, let's just look at what happens if I get fired and I end up with a part-time job paying just £10,000 a year. This looks a little odd because I now appear to have taxable pay of minus £1,500 and instead of paying income tax, I'm getting negative income tax, which would suggest that the inland revenue is paying me £300 a year because I'm not earning enough. This isn't actually how it works. I'm going to have to use some more sophisticated functions because at the moment, all it's doing is, is it's taking £11,500 away from my annual salary. But you only need to take that amount away to work out taxable pay if I am earning more than £11,500 a year. So what I need to do is I need to tell Excel only work this out if I am earning more than £11,500. Here's how I do it. Instead of saying, always take £11,500 away, I change it to saying, if that number there is bigger than 11500 then I want you to do this sum. But if it's not, I want you to return a value of zero. This is called a logical command. There are lots of these in Excel and they're terribly useful for spreadsheets such as this. I can change it to £5,000. It still outputs zero. Oh my goodness, I seem to have another problem over here with NI now. I need to put in a very similar instruction. Exactly the same idea, only this time the threshold is slightly different. So now I put in if cell A2, this one here, is greater than 8164, then take away 8164. But if it's not bigger than that, just put in a zero. And there I have it. A proper tax calculator that takes into account the fact that at certain thresholds I don't pay anything at all. So if I go back up to £10,000, as you see, I'm paying national insurance, and there it is on my monthly pay slip, but not tax. If I go up to £12,000 a year, I'm paying a little tiny bit of tax and a bit more national insurance. And if I go back to what I was earning before, 24000 that is the monthly pay slip I expect to see. And now the clever bit, when I set up the model which will enable me to calculate the impact of different thresholds and rates for NI and income tax on people at different levels of income. I've got a new sheet set up here. A lot of it is as it was before, annual salary, taxable pay, income tax payable. I've put in a new column here for total deductions and another one here for average tax rate because I want to know the total proportion of their income that is going out 
one should take into account both income tax and NI because I want to be able to adjust them both. So first thing I'm going to do is take all this work that I've done over here, highlight and copy or control C, which is often quicker. Go to here and paste. Now, my total deductions, new column, is simply equal to income tax payable plus NI payable. My net salary, as before, is my annual salary minus income tax minus NI. It's that. And my average tax rate is simply my total deductions as a fraction of my annual salary expressed as a percentage. I've already set up this box here to return a percentage. Now, this is all very well, but this is only set up to calculate one set of tax rates and thresholds. As the formula in this box here tells me, I'm working out 20% of taxable pay. My taxable pay only applies to incomes over 11,500. That's a fixed threshold. And I've got the same issue for national insurance. What I actually want to be able to do is experiment with different thresholds and rates. So over here on this side of the spreadsheet here, I'm going to put in some figures that I can change. My tax threshold that I'm working with at the moment is £11,500. My basic rate of tax is 20%. My NI threshold is £8,164 per year and my NI rate is 12%. Notice I'm only dealing with basic rates of tax and NI or the logic commands in these boxes here would get quite a lot more complicated and I don't want to get into that. Now, income tax payable says taxable pay times 0.2 or 20%. But what I actually want to do is say income tax payable is my taxable pay here times this tax rate here. And now I can change this to 15% and it changes. I also want to set the threshold to something that I can vary. So now instead of saying if A2 is greater than £11,500, I'm going to say greater than that box there. And that figure too changes to... So now I can change the tax threshold. What happens if I increase it to £12,500? Oh look, my taxable pay drops, my income tax payable drops. I can do the same thing with libel for NI. Now I can play all sorts of games with my different tax rates and thresholds. What I'd really like to be able to do is drag down all these calculations here and simply put in different numbers here and watch everything change. Oh, something very odd is happening here. Those don't look anything like the right numbers. That's because Excel naturally works with what we call relative cell values. You see, when I say make sure that cell A2 is bigger than L2, all it actually does is look this number of squares along to the right. So when I drag down to here, it suddenly looks at this 20%, which is 0.2, a tax threshold of 20p. Now, what I need to do is I need to turn these cell references into what we call absolute cell references so that when I drag down, it always looks at this cell. And the way you make cell references absolute in Excel is you put in dollar signs. So I'm going to put in a dollar sign there, a dollar sign there, a dollar sign there, and a dollar sign there. So now it will always get the tax threshold from this box here, however far down I drag. In the same way, I want the tax rate always to be taken from exactly the same box, and so on, working across the sheet. Right, I have now put in all my dollar signs, so what I can do now is I can take all my calculations and simply drag them down. And now I can see what happens at different levels of income. Ah, that's what somebody on £30,000 pays, average tax rate of 20%. That's what someone on 35000 pays, average rate of 22%. And £40,000 a year. Does it all automatically. And now I can start playing around with the tax rates. Originally, it was 11500 So that is how it works out 
under our current system. What if I was to say, right, we're going to integrate tax and national insurance. We're going to put them both at the same threshold of £11,500 per year. Oh, look, everyone's tax rate falls. If I just increase the threshold at which national insurance is paid, I might increase the rate to 13%. Now it's almost exactly as it was before. This figure's still 24. What if I was to slash the rate of tax to 10%? Using this kind of financial model set up on a spreadsheet, you can test the impact of different policies on different members of the population. There are some simplifications here. I've disregarded higher rates of tax, but I hope you begin to see the power of this tool for modelling financial situations. Finally, a quick reminder of some of the spreadsheet tricks I showed you today. First of all, the if command, the logical test. This says equal to, always put that in at the start of any kind of calculation, cell A2 is bigger than 11,500. This next statement here is what you do. Do cell A2 minus 11,500. But if this is not true, just output zero. A sophisticated version of this is to say if A2 is bigger than L2, so you can vary the size of the figure to which you are comparing it. And the final tweet we added was this dollar sign. This means that it will always look at cell L2 even if I drag the formula all the way down the page. I've given you a copy of the Excel sheet to explore. What I'd like you to do is have a play with that and complete the tasks you've been given.